I am super excited about this. This is going to be gastroenterology, GI for the board exams. I think the first topic is going to be super high yield for GI because it's a very common complaint that we see in our patients and on questions. And it's going to be, I have difficulty swallowing. Medical word, dysphagia. Ours is always going to be high yield when we talk about the board exams. And the way we're going to present this is I'm going to show you the outline for our journey through cardiology. Of course, I'm always going to integrate because that's what the boards want. Integrating between ID and cardiology, pulmonary and cardiology. That's where they're going to get the most questions, you know, on the board exams. So there's no way we could start pulmonary medicine without talking about the most quintessential thing, which is going to be pulmonary function test, PFTs. So everyone, this is going to be the core of what we're going to be talking about. So it can apply to all the other topics, asthma, COPD, pulmonary fibrosis. So the questions they ask on the board exams are always going to be the dark horse. So always try to sneak in one of those room questions or those endo questions. The endocrine is going to be nice in two different ways. Of course, you need to know the bread and butter. What is diabetes? What is hyper and hypothyroidism? But then on the other side of things, how many times have you worked up con syndrome? How many times have you worked up pheochromocytoma? So it's good to review these things for the board exams. Let's talk about nephrology for the board exams. So what a surprise. Dr. Raj is a big fan of the kidneys like I am almost every organ in the body. But you know, when I think about nephrology, it is essential when we talk about things like acid base. And you know, for the lungs, it's all about the CO2. And for when we talk about the kidneys, it's all about the bicarb. Wherever you are in your board review, in your studying, in your preparation, you're doing the best job you can, and I'm so happy for you. And what does it mean to go beyond the pearls? Is that take the knowledge you already have, the courses you already took, the books you already bought, and when you wanna take it up a notch so you can make the sign of going beyond the pearls, that's what this course is all about. It's fun, it's integrative. There's 40 plus hours of videos, things that I felt from my 17 plus years of doing board review, what is the highest yield? What will make you go beyond the pearls? Also, access to my books. And this is going to be the step two and three knowledge, taking boards to the wards, the Beyond the Pearls Morning Report series, starting from medicine on one side, all the way to surgery, and all the good topics in between. I'm Dr. Raj, and I'm here at the University of Southern California, where I am a quadruple board certified doctor in internal medicine, pulmonary, critical care, and sleep. And I'll tell you one thing, time does fly by pretty fast. It seems like yesterday I was just taking my USMLE. And now my passions, my dreams are coming true. I have a wonderful book series to help out with the clinical medicine. I have a book series for the basic science. And I get to do my favorite I word in the whole world, which is integrate. And I get a chance to meet medical students, interns, residents, and of course, my wonderful fellows every single day, which puts a big smile on my face. I will see you soon in the hospital.